Hello everyone, I'm Azadeh Taliban and today I'm going to present our work Proof Talk, which is a system for having interpretable multi-level provenance analysis in NFE. This work is a collaboration between Concordia University and Ericsson Research Canada. Here's our outline. I'm going to start with a brief introduction and the motivation behind our solution, then I will explain our methodology and implementation. After that, I will show you our evaluation results and finally conclude the presentation with a summary of our work and some of our future directions. We know that NFE enables the extension of network applications over which are resources instead of having them running over dedicated hardware. So now, for example, we can have them running over virtual machines in clouds. And this running over virtual resources, what also causes this notion of multi-level for NFE, is what enables dynamic and agile network service deployment. However, the multi-level architecture may also lead to a higher complexity and greater chances of misconfigurations because now we have different abstractions of the same resource at different levels of the NFE stack. For example, here we have this uh, virtual IDS abstracted as a VNF at this uh, top level, what we call as NFE level, while it is abstracted as a VM at this uh, cloud level. Now, likewise, when this NFE client triggers an operation at the NFE level, for example, let's say create VNF operation, the NFE infrastructure automatically triggers a sequence of operations that would affect this VM at the cloud level. And without knowing the link between that uh, create VNF operation and this uh, automatically triggered sequence of operations, it would be prohibitively challenging for an analyst to identify the root cause of security incidents, especially if the incident and the root cause happen to be at different levels of the NFE stack. And you can also imagine when we have these multiple levels of uh, sequences, sequences of operations, it would mean that we have a much larger amount of log data to analyze, which would make uh, the investigation more challenging. Now, to better understand the need for an automated solution, let's look at this example. Here, an analyst receives an alert from the virtual IDS here at the NFP level about unauthorized SSH traffic. And this incident has happened because an attacker created these two ports at cloud level, updated the device owner field of this port attached to his or her VM. So now uh, the attacker can exploit some vulnerability to uh, spoof the IP address of the source enterprise sending uh, network traffic to this VNF forwarding graph VNFFGX. Then the attacker inserts the ports per group of this VM into the port chain corresponding to VNF, VNFFGX. And the attacker does that at the SFC level. And now the attacker sends malicious traffic from his or her VM to this uh, VMB. Now to investigate this incident, the analyst may apply some existing provenance-based solution which would establish the relationships between operations at different levels of the NFE stack. And because this incident was detected at the NFE level, the analyst may start uh, his investigation by going through this provenance graph at the NFE level. And he would say that, okay, this virtual idea has uh, detected this um, incident. And according to the provenance graph, it was included in VNFFGX, and it was preceded by this virtual firewall, which was configured to filter this unauthorized SSH traffic. So now, based on all the analysts can see on this provenance graph, he cannot explain the root cause, and this incident shouldn't have happened. So now the analyst naturally starts investigating the provenance graphs that are generated at other levels of the NFE stack. However, as you can see, there is no obvious link between the incident to its potential root cause at different levels of the NFE stack. In other words, the analyst doesn't know where to look at to identify the root cause. And also, the impractically large and complex provenance graphs would make the interpretation of it more challenging. So to address this, our goal in this work is to build a provenance model that can handle the unique challenges that we have because of this multi-level aspect of NFE. And to do that, we want to establish those cross-level dependencies between different abstractions of the same resource. Because although those de cross-level dependencies exist in the NFE environment, they are not logged. So we want to explicitly capture them in our provenance graph and log them. And we also want to increase the interpretability of our multi-level provenance graph. And to do that, our key insight is that 
This multi-level nature of NFV inherently assigns higher level semantics to lower level events in our provenance graph. So if, for example, we know that this VM here corresponds to that VNF at the NFV level, then maybe there is also a way to identify all those events at the cloud level, for example, these blue operation nodes at the cloud level that are all related to this create VNF at the top. Then because if we can somehow identify those nodes, we would have a much easier investigation because now instead of having to searching through all those nodes, wondering what they are about, how they were triggered, what their purpose was, we can easily regard them as something related to create DNF. So in other words, we want to take advantage of the unique opportunities that we have because of this multi-level aspect of NFV to increase the interpretability. So now the analyst could have a more focused investigation to identify the root cause much easier. So in a nutshell, we propose the first multi-level provenance model for NFV that captures its multi-level nature. And we increase the interpretability of provenance analysis by uh, proposing three novel techniques. And we uh, demonstrate the feasibility of our solution by implementing it based on a real NFV testbed and evaluate uh, its effectiveness. Now, to better understand our solution, let's look at how it works. Well, first of so all, ProfTalk builds a multi-level provenance graph, and then it increases its interpretability through our training and investigation stages. I will go through these modules in our next few slides. To build a multi-level provenance graph, what ProfTalk does is whenever it intercepts a creation operation, for example, create the NF operation at the NFP level, it makes a query to the infrastructure databases, those databases that are automatically populated by the NFE infrastructure, and it fetches the ID of the lower level abstraction of the created resource. For example, it fetches the ID of this VM, and then it uh, accordingly creates a map to edge between the nodes representing that created resource. And we know that uh, one of the challenges that we have for investigating the provenance graphs is that provenance graphs usually include many nodes that are irrelevant to the detected security incident. And most existing techniques discard irrelevant nodes only at the same level as where the target incident is detected because they're not considering those uh, cross-level dependencies that we have in our multi-level provenance graph. So what ProfTalk does instead is to first identify all potentially relevant nodes at the same level as where the incident is detected. It labels them, and then it uh, passes those labels through our map to edges across all levels of our multi-level provenance graph. And then finally, it discards those nodes that have not been labeled because now we know that they are not relevant to the detected incident. And we also propose a cross-level aggregation for uh, increasing the interpretability. And here our insight is that those lower level operations that are triggered after an NFE level operation are usually fixed because they're automatically triggered by the infrastructure. And they appear frequently in our provenance graph, which would cause some kind of redundancy and makes the analysis challenging. So what ProfTalk does here to address this is to identify those operations and then aggregate them in our investigation. And the way it does it is by first extracting the lower level operations that are logged in T seconds after each NFE level operation. So it first extracts these sequences of operations that are logged in T seconds after, for example, this create VNF operation. However, as you can imagine, in a real NFV environment, there are usually so many events happening at almost the same time. So those extracted sequences may include some operations that are irrelevant to that particular NFV level operation. For example, here we have this delete VM that was uh, in the extracted sequence but it is irrelevant to create VNF. It's just there because we had some delete VNF uh, happening at almost the same time. So that delete VNF triggered this delete VM. Now to address this, 
ProfTech builds a model of those relevant operations using some sequential pattern mining techniques. So it mines uh, the sequence of relevant uh, frequent operations that are happening after each NFE level operation. And then it feeds those mined sequences to our investigation stage. Okay, now so we know that these are the operations that are relevant to, for example, our create VNF operation, and we want to identify the nodes representing them and aggregate them. So now the question is that, but which nodes correspond to them that we should aggregate? Because as you see here, for example, we might have several nodes that represent the type uh, of the export operation. How should we know that which of them correspond to this create VNF operation so we can aggregate them? Well, to address this, our intuition is that because all these operations are triggered by the same NFE level operation, so we expect to see some kind of interdependencies between them through their affected resources. So we use this intuition to identify those relevant nodes, and then finally we aggregate those nodes uh, visually into a single compound node, which is assigned with a label the same as that um, relevant NFE level operation. And we do this for administrative behavior. So again, we build a model of administrative behavior operations uh, that are, for example, uh, about maintenance tasks. They're frequently happening in our provenance graph. And then at the investigation stage, we identify the paths that correspond to those uh, sequences of operations, uh, and then we aggregate them into a single compound node. So you see through our multi-level pruning and aggregation mechanisms, we can have a much smaller and more interpretable instance of the provenance graph. And additionally, we propose a rule-based translation mechanism that translates the captured information into a textual summary using our pre-specified rules. And by doing that, we would have an even easier investigation. Now I'd like to show you a glimpse of our whole talk dashboard because now we're running out of time and we'll only show you the aggregation part. Here you see those three levels of our multi-level provenance graph and these green nodes represent those cross-level compound nodes, for example, deploy VNF or deploy VNFFG and users can move the nodes if it helps them in their analysis. And if they want, they can expand those compound nodes to have a more detailed analysis. So it's like in an on-demand basis. And we have the same thing for the routine administrative behavior. Again, users can expand them to see what has been aggregated. We implemented our approach on OpenStack Rocky version and on Tacker. And we uh, leverage Node4j as the graph database and Python node lab library to translate Python queries into Cypher language. And uh, we leverage byte algorithm for sequential pattern mining and site escape for visualization. And we uh, deployed our solution as Python middlewares on Tacker and OpenStack managerial services. And we demonstrated the effectiveness of our solution based on 10 attacks. And for all those attacks, we could trace back to the root cause of the reported incident using ProfTalk. And we also showed that our multi-level pruning decreases the size of the provenance graph by 3.6 times, and our aggregation mechanism decreases the size by half, as you see here. And uh, we also demonstrated that even at the error rate of 80% for our sequential pattern mining, we only had 0.4 less reduction power. And we also show that by having uh, the cross-level dependencies between all three levels of our multi-level provenance graph and through our uh, aggregation and pruning mechanisms, we could reduce the size of the cloud-level nodes twice uh, as the existing work. And we also demonstrated that our solution incurs a negligible additional delay to NFE management operations, and we only had insignificant storage and CPU overhead. And we also evaluated the effectiveness of our solution uh, through a user-based study. And in our study, we had two groups of participants. Uh, one group was uh, from a telecommunication industrial organization, and another group was our graduate students working in cybersecurity. And we had 19 questions about different modules of our work and also about the features that our GUI provided. And our studies show that our approach can significantly ease the analysis task of users, as you see here. So in summary, we 
propose a multi-level provenance model for NFV with a mapping mechanism to pair the resources abstracted at different levels so we could capture those cross-level dependencies that exist in the NFV environment. And we designed an approach to increase the interpretability. And we demonstrated the feasibility of our solution by implementing it based on real NFV lab setup. And for the future, we plan to encourage more complex learning techniques and evaluate the results and compare them with what we have now. And we want to integrate our solution with OS level provenance graphs in, in addition to the management level provenance graph that we have now. Thank you so much for your attention and I would appreciate any questions or comments that you might have.